In the left ring, David Getty, weighing 102 pounds. He's five foot two, uh, and he, uh, he's got the biggest, weirdest feet I've ever seen. And in the other <laughs> corner, the dashingly beautiful, <laughs> perfectly chiseled, Greek goddess of a man, Ethan Harris. Fight! Oh, come here, tough guy. You wanna box? You wanna uh, you wanna tap? You wanna tap dance? Well, put you wanna you wanna go? You wanna tap? Put on your tap shoes, baby. Let's dance. Hit it, ho! It's we're doing a box. It's Boxing Day today, which has nothing to do with the sport boxing. So we're gonna talk about boxing movies because we're a little silly oh, we boys. We're a little silly we could have done best movies on retail though. That would have been fun. Ooh. Best retail focus films. That's a fucking hot take, too. Right, I'm bet. changing my list real quick. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just, really quickly, for the record, whose voice was that supposed to be? Was that my voice, or was that your boxing voice? That's my boxing voice. Okay, okay, that's hot. That's, 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 that's nice. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we are doing best boxing films. Uh, we're Definitely. doing just... We're just doing three, because Ethan has not seen boxing movies in his entire life. Um, I've seen three boxing movies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hot take, or, or, or spoiler warning, uh, Real Steel is on his list. Three so, times. Should be... <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, uh, we're doing best boxing films because it's Boxing Day, and those two are only... Sharing the name, nothing else. That's unless you yes. find like boxing gloves on Boxing Day. Hmm. Well, you would regift them. Fine. Okay. okay. That's what Boxing Day is. Yeah, no, 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 no totally, totally. You're regifting your um, your gifts that you didn't want to your poor servants. Oh, is that really true? I didn't know that. Classism true. is alive and well, baby. Round one. Um, ding, ding. E- <laughs> Ethan. Uh. So give me uh give me your number three. Let's My see how hot three this is. is Rocky. Hmm, number three, no Rocky. Way. Ah, I am so very surprised. Low. Ethan. Very low. Same. Nice. My number three is also Rocky. Um, it felt really weird putting it down here. Uh, cause I mean three's not like a bad spot. It's but good, I mean, but it's a little still... cheesy, especially now. It's it's aged very cheesily. That fucking training montage with Eye of the Tiger. Very, very cringe. Not gonna well, lie. I <laughs> think it's interesting because I think this is like the, like the <laughs> intro of, like training montages. I don't think there were like really training montages prior to. That's <laughs> it. Um, a little. It's a little cheesy, but I also think that going in. So I saw Rocky for the first time like semi recently, like a few years ago. Okay. But I had been, like, I had seen the other Rocky films prior to that, so I knew that, like, I expected there to be, like, a little bit higher level of cheese to it. But then I watched Rocky, and I was like, fuck, I was like, this is actually kind of, like, super, really interesting. And, like, also, spoiler warning, it's a pretty, it's a pretty, it's a pretty, uh, risky, risky decision to take with that end. Um, True. I like Rocky a lot. Sylvester I thought the wings looked good on Sylvester Stallone. I hate you so much. Wait, did I watch a different one? <laughs> Fuck, I'm thinking of Rocky IV. <laughs> um, Stallone, really good, really good actor. I'm surprised. He yeah. also he wrote this, like which go I, I find that more surprising. I I think it's super surprising. Um, I like Rocky a lot. Really good films. Ethan, we're flying through this. It's gonna be a six minute episode. My, my Give number, me your number two. two. My number two, David Million Dollar Baby. Are you Are you kidding me? Wait, what no, the hell? No, hey, you're we kidding. should have done, we should have not done three. This is you're a bad idea. Me. Million Dollar Baby, really good fucking movie. Oh this my is, god, <laughs> this is this is probably Eastwood's second best directed film. Second best. Yep. Um, I don't. Oh, swing. Hey, I don't think you wrote a list. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan, thank you for making my list. I think I think we're sitting together in class. You're le- you're fucking leaning over in your desk. You're leaning over. You're like, Psst, what'd you put for name? <laughs> fucking idiot. I, hey, I, I did I, this, I, hey, hey, why don't you fucking do the intro too, huh? Stealing everything from me. <laughs> I gotta fight you in the ring, buddy. You're looking a damn dance. Um, this Punch is a movie going into. Times. 
Do it. I, shut up. No. Do it. This No, I'm not doing Do it. it now. This is a movie where I knew what happened at the end. Of the, ow, God, stop it. Ow. I'm not copying it. Um, oh, I, I, knew, I knew what happened in this movie, and when it still happens, it still fucking kills me. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Oh, so impactful. So powerful. Really good movie. Fuck that mom. Fuck that mom. It's my Don't favorite, like that mom. It's my favorite Christmas movie. Is this a Christmas movie? Sure. <laughs> um, Boxing Day just is, got done, baby. <laughs> this is so weird because I know that our number ones won't be the same. True. Because I have not seen your number one. I, let I Ethan haven't gotten take... to talk about Million Dollar Baby yet. So Talk about... Sorry, you were uh, punching me. Mil- <laughs> Ow. God, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. This is um, this is what he does to me when we're not recording. It's very this is a violent podcast. Don't you don't tell him a damn thing. <laughs> um, Ethan, talk. Ow, stop it! That was my eye. Hey, hey, ladies and gentlemen, you want to see me hit him again? Watch this. Watch this. I'm going right for his gonads. Ow, you hit my elbow. How did you miss? They're chewing they it up, big guy. Are they laughing at my joke? <laughs> nah. Damn it. Elbow joke didn't land. Ethan, talk to me about Million Dollar Baby. Why is this your number two? Because Ours. it is so brutal in every single aspect, whether that's in the ring, in the training, or in the hospital. It has such intense brutality. The emotional depth that Hillary Swank goes to, not only in the dedication, but in the devastation. Fucking oh. amazing. I love Million Dollar Baby so much. Damn. I didn't know you... I didn't know you... We're such a big Clint Eastwood fan. I don't like Clint Eastwood. <laughs> but I so love Million really, Dollar Baby. This is a really good Here's movie. the thing. This Here's like... the thing. I'm not a huge fan of Morgan Freeman. I'm not a huge fan of Clint Eastwood either as a director or as a supporting actor or as a main actor. I think, like, everything is stacked against this film for me. I'm not really into sports movies. But it land, everything lands so well. Clint Eastwood's supporting role is so refined. It's like, oh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I feel bad not giving this number one, honestly. Same. Because I think I think this one is slept on way too much. Yeah. So I was gonna say like, but with both Rocky and Million Dollar Baby, they're both movies I went into thinking I would like them, and then just being completely blown away with like how good they actually were. Like I did not expect Million Dollar Baby to even be, like like the possibility of it being as good as it was to be possible. It's this movie is so slept on. It only won Best Picture, Best Director, Best Actor, and <laughs> Best Supporting Actor. What a slept-on movie. <laughs> um, Ethan. Hi. What's your number one? Please, I know, I know, we're gonna have difference here. A different movie here. Um, I watched a movie specifically for this list because mm-hmm. I've been told, I've heard, little birdie came up and told me it was like tweet 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 tweet. tweet. Raging Bull is the greatest boxing movie of all time. And I said, what the fuck, a talking bird? And you know what I did to it? I punched it. You punched the <laughs> bird? that bird the fuck out. Jesus Christ. It was a talking bird. It scared the shit out of me. This is the start of Birdemic right here. <laughs> so I killed this fucking bird. And then I watched this Martin Scorsese film, Raging Bull, uh, starring a young Robert De Niro in, I would say, easily one of Robert De Niro's best roles. Now, here's the thing. Um... This is a... What do you think the movie's about? Um, it's about boxing. It's, it's based on a true story, right? It's yeah, about yeah. a man self-imploding and destroying everything he touches. Oh. Uh, so Jake LaMotta is... He, he's like everything he comes across, he fights. Whether that's women. Birds. Oh. Whether that's his brother, whether that's his opponents in the ring, whether that's himself. Uh, it is a very brutal and, like, honestly, like, the, I, the movie I would probably compare it the most to is, like, it, it reminds me of a little less slimy uncut gems. Where mm-hmm. your character is deeply unlikable, but you have this intense pity for him. Because, you like, he is just so, like, he's fucking everything up. And a lot of the things that n- might not be his fault, he is exacerbating to the extreme. He is making everything so significantly shittier for himself. 
that like you feel bad because he's such a fuck up honestly and he could have been a contender he could have been a contender <laughs> Um, Joe Pesci's really good in this. The direction is fantastic. Martin Scorsese's, like, just filmmaking is at, at its peak on this one. Um, you get a lot of really interesting techniques that are absent from a lot of other Scorsese films, especially ones around this time. Um, it's really, really good. Your opening kind of shot is... It, it, the opening shot is really, really good. Um, you see Jake LaMotta in a ring by himself punching the air as if he's like fighting himself and the angle you have the fuck like the ropes around the boxing ring make it look like he's in jail and like it just really like you get everything you need to know about jake lamada immediately and man does this guy hate women holy shit is he a fucking bastard to women yikes buddy but it's never seen as like yeah he's a tough guy it's more like this guy is the worst <laughs> Is this also your like just from the way you're talking about it? I'm getting signs or getting a feeling that this is it's, a, it's it's a different type of Scorsese movie than a lot of the other ones. Well, no, I was right? gonna say, is this also your number one Scorsese? I don't know. Maybe it's in it's in it's in high contention. Damn. But I love The Departed for a lot of different reasons. Mm-hmm. So like comparing those two, they're very different totally, films, totally. and yep. they have strengths and weaknesses for both of them. I'd Damn. probably go with The Departed just because I've rewatched it a whole bunch. This one's a little yeah. fresher. So, totally, but totally. man, it's so good. It, it, it is really good. Um, it is, it's like a really, really good depiction of toxic masculinity in a, an almost a non sympathetic way because it's done so, like, with such brutality from your main character. Mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm. so self destructive. It doesn't, it's not like, I don't know, you don't feel like, the the people that he confronts are not doing anything bad to him. It's all self imposed. Damn, I'm. It's it's really good. I'm very excited. Joe to see Pesci's this. I, pretty solid, but like De Niro's really good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's uh, also a lot more like gory than I was expecting. Really? Um, yeah, but in kind of kind of subtle ways. But like you'll see like. Someone to get punched, and then you'll see the blood squirt out in like slow motion, black and white. The whole film is not in black and white, which I found interesting. Wait, Any really? like memories of like happy times or like moments that are supposed to be happy times in Jake Lamada's life, whether that's like sixteen millimeter footage or like super eight uh, footage of of his marriage, is in color. Um, it's it's really interesting. Uh, it's well worth a watch. It's it's a very interesting just from the technical approach, but also from the performances, as well as it's a really really interesting story, that is not just a boxing movie. Um, it's good. It's real good. Damn. I will definitely be checking this out. I it's always been on my list because I love Scorsese. I just haven't gotten to it. I don't know. I don't know why. Um, Didn't even watch it for this episode. I I was gonna. I watched so many you movies. Silly baby. Um, I, what you got for me? I watched Real Steel thirty six times, <laughs> so I'm many prep times. for this, one. <laughs> and it's not even on your list, <laughs> or is it? David's number one He's for the title weight match. Steel. Hugh Jackman controls a robot in this film. It's impressive. It's cool. It's heartbreaking. It's heartwarming. <sighs> but my number one is um. <laughs> Is, I was is, like, usually I cut you off, but I'm just gonna let you keep going and <laughs> see how long you last. My number one is in the Rock'em Sock'em Ring. Is um is Creed? Is Ryan Coogler's Creed? I love this film. This is damn good pick. Easily my favorite. I think this is when it comes down to boxing being in film. This is easily the best shot boxing I've ever seen. It, I mean, Ryan Coogler's direction here is is insanely good um you also get michael g michael michael g michael b jordan um in the lead role as a as a apollo creed son and he's really fucking good here also again <laughs> stallone so surprisingly good we're knocking out the ballpark like fuck he should have gotten the best supporting actor i think for this role you also got tessa thompson tessa thompson who's fantastic in their relationship I love the relationship between Michael B. Jordan and Tessa Thompson. I love those two so much. Um, everything just the the 
the just the opening scene holy fuck that opening scene the 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 the, the, the way that camera moves love it who and it move it's so good um also you get like some really actually good scenes between uh michael b jordan and his mother in the film and like the impact that that like apollo like apollo had on him and like everything that happened there i love this movie it's it's easily the box movie that like i revisit the most i enjoy mm-hmm. the most um yeah i fucking love this movie it's a really good movie Maybe Raging Bull would have kicked Rocky off the list. I th- I would have liked that because it seems a little weird having like like a late sequel. Double Rocky. Double Rocky, yeah. Um, because the, the story structure is so similar there. But I also love seeing that like natural progression of Stallone's character and the other characters in that Rocky universe and like seeing where they ended up in Creed. Creed two, decent, but oh, not, like not even in the same ballpark as Creed one. Not even not even in the same. Uh, title match, not even in the same weight bracket division. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's it. That's Baby. our boxing movies. Oh, we shit. got two. We got two boxing rings. Oh my god. We got two, two, two squares. We got mini sods where you can duke it out with other topics. We also got snippets from the main show, including some of the stuff from our holiday episode that just dropped. Punch them. Uh, and what's oh. that? It's the the bell that they ring, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> and the winner is you for subscribing and getting all the feature cast content you wanted. <laughs> One more punch for the road. <laughs> Let's get it. I could have been a contender.